Hi, this is Kevin with Naples Lawn Service, and today we're going to talk about how to get the water out of your fuel system module underneath the truck. And uh, this will be a very easy thing to do. If you get an alarm on your dash, it's going to require you to do this. It's very easy. Okay, so if your dash has a warning light that you got, you need to drain the water out of your fuel in your system or something to that effect, uh, that's nothing that you got to go to the dealer for. If you've got a five gallon bucket and you're halfway handy, then you are all set. And uh, this will happen every now and then. You'll get a little bit of water in that module and there's just one turn of a lever to drain it out. Now whether you have a super cab or a regular cab or a super crew like this cab, it's different. But it's either going to be in the front of your truck down below or it's going to be on the left side. So uh, mine, I got a super crew cab, it's on, it's on the left side, let me go show you where it's at. Okay, so you're on the driver's side of the truck, and here's your door, and it's basically right down up under there, and I'm going to show you. Okay, so here it is right here, and uh, you see it's got a petcock valve on it, and what you do is you just turn that valve all the way, well first of all you put yourself a 5 gallon bucket under there or something like that, you turn that valve all the way until all of that fluid uh, drains out of there. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch your engine to off. You're gonna get underneath that vehicle, put yourself a bucket underneath there. You're gonna drain that diesel fuel conditioner module, which is what it's called. Turn the drain plug counterclockwise until it stops. Don't use any tools, okay? Just do this with your hands. And it's gonna be approximately a half gallon or so. Okay, you're gonna drain it into there. You're going to tighten back up that drain plug by turning it clockwise till it stops and you, and you feel a strong resistance. Don't use any tools to help you with this. And then, when that's all done, you're just going to take that bucket out of here. You're going to properly dispose of that, of that fluid and uh, then you just got to prime it back up. And here's just a picture of the, the truck where you access it. This is a copy right from the owner's manual. I had to print it out because they don't they don't give you an owner's manual anymore when you buy a vehicle but uh, this is what it looks like and that's where it's located and uh, now at this point you've got to prime the system back up okay so how you prime that fuel module back up is you uh, turn the key on for 30 seconds and just just let it sit there and prime and then turn the key off and then turn the key back on for another 30 seconds and let it prime. You're just going to repeat this twice and then it should be all primed back up and ready to go. So this is called a, a module assembly and uh, it should drain the water anytime the light comes on. And at this point you'll have about 200 milliliters of water in there. If you leave that water in there you could end up, end up damaging your fuel injection system so you don't want to do that. So that's how you drain the water out of your fuel system. When you get that alarm on your dash it's not a big deal. Just, just get underneath there and drain it out. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, we're going to have a lot more videos coming out on the maintenance, oils and air filters and other filters, uh, every, all the maintenance stuff on the Super Duty Diesel. We're going to have a lot more videos coming out. I'm Kevin with Naples Lawn Service.